Hello, Ken Spriggs here with part five of my 2001 Discovery build. Uh, a lot of great progress this week, week or so. I started working on the photo etch for the interior, and I began with the cockpit, which I've completed. And I'll show you the ending of that here, um, but I'll show you how I did all that. Uh, turned out really nice. Really like the Paragraphics photo etch. I always love their product. It's quite excellent. Uh, I did a lot of augmenting myself, added some things to it. Uh, not quite as much in the cockpit because um, you're not going to see a lot of that detail in the end. Um, but I'm going to do a lot more in the uh, pod bay here coming up. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Let me show you what I've accomplished. And, uh, and at the end, we'll show you that completed cockpit with the lights. All right. All right, so I'm beginning some of the um, styrene detailing of the photo etch. And I'm starting with the uh, cockpit and uh, some of the wall sections that should be uh, raised detail. Some white ribbing there. I'm, uh, I'm building up those little lines right there. I'm going to do something similar on the ones on the bottom too. Sorry, it's hard to get a good shot on that. Um, what I'm using here is a, um, is a half round stock. And there's different kinds. There's evergreen and there's plastrocked. I just have some of these. And um, you can see by the little image there, it's a half circle. And it's 0 .060. It's called a half round. And it's just, it's exactly that. It's just a half a round, like a half a round tube. So it has a flat end, which is nice. I can glue it down. Oh, sorry. I'm also working on the, um, the two pilot chairs which I have built together. So the photo etch is just smooth metal. And it's the general structure that I want. So, but that seat part there in the front uh, in the movie is just is some kind of ribbed leather, black leather uh, for the seats themselves. So what I've just started doing is gluing on some round stock. Show it from the back there. And once I let that dry, just overhang it, doesn't matter. I can trim it down with my uh, tin snips or I can just use an exacto knife and cut it flush with the seat and then sand it into place as well, sand it smooth. So for that one, I'm using this round stock, which is 0 .030. And it's a very, very thin round stock, so, okay. So I've got several of these square, round, rectangular, which I'm going to be using to augment the, um, the photo etch parts and give it some raised detail. And I'm just using some Tamiya Extra Thin glue to glue them down and, and let them uh, dry for a few minutes. And then I'll just, I just use an X-Acto knife to just cut it flush. And then I can sand it down a little bit if I want to. Okay. All right, and here's one of the completed front cushions on the, um, one of the pilot chairs. You can see it's kind of angled. Uh, the chairs are kind of odd on this ship. They face the wrong direction and I think he was going for an idea that in zero gravity there wouldn't be an up or down or anything like that. They really could be in any direction so when they're sitting on the floor they're facing like this way. Closer on there, come on. Yeah, so that's facing forward. So they're kind of looking upwards to look at the windows. It's kind of strange. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some other stripping on the sides and on the top because in the in the movie you have the front cushion is all black. It's like a black leather. And then the sides and the top are all white, white leather. So I glued together some of these half round pieces that I was using on the other part with some extra thin. I could four them there. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing those on. The same basic idea. Like I'll glue them across ways on the top, and then when they dry, I'll snip them on the sides again same kind of thing um, and what I've started using I'm using the extra thin to glue them together but uh, I've started using this super glue to glue them onto the metal <clears throat> because um, 
the extra thin was kind of pulling away and it wasn't adhering right. So the only thing I found is some CA glue or super glue to glue the metal together and, and get a stronger bond. And it glues pretty quickly as well. So, okay. So let me go ahead and get those sides glued on. Uh, I have the other one started. I have the back on it so I can start doing the, uh, the bottom as well. Okay. And there we go, and there's one completed uh, cockpit seat. You can see I have the, the rib padded sides on it. And the top. And then there's the, uh, the flat black seat itself. Okay, so I went from a um, Just a bare photo etch smooth seat and uh, and build it up to an actual detailed seat so all right so there'll be two of those uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have any kind of figures or pilots in these because I'd have to find something of the right scale that's a little tricky to do so we'll see if I can come up with something or maybe a little figure from another kit that turned out really well. All right. Let me go ahead and start working on the second one as well. All right, so I'm working more, some more on the, um, the ribbing on the cockpit area. And as you can see, I started on the, the other side. And I'm once again using that half round section. And just doing one at a time. Uh, I am going to do those little teeny ones on the bottom and the top. So that whole, this whole area is padded. Uh, to do that, I took some, uh, some round stock. I'll try to get a focus on that. There we go. And I just cut some little pieces off and just glued them together. I think it's about six of them there. And uh, all I'm doing is, like, I'll cut some little pieces off with an X-Acto and stack them together. And just lightly put some, dab on some extra thin. And then push them together and then let them dry and then I put a little bit more on so it, it dries them together because that dries pretty quickly there we go and that way I can do several at a time these are so tiny it would be a lot, a lot harder to put on one at a time so this way I can just put a section on let it dry cut it off and then do the next one and so on and all I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit I'm using a toothpick putting a little bit of the super glue just on the edge of it that's going to be onto the metal. Sticking it in place, holding it there, and it dries pretty quick. And then using my um, X-Acto knife to just cut it off. So, okay. All right, let me work on that some more. All right, so I'm still working on putting on the, the little raised panels. And the only thing I'm doing, like I said, is these areas here, these little squares, because these are supposed to be padded areas. I'm also going to do right here these two columns, uh, and that'll be it. I'm not going to do any of the other flat areas. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any detail here on the floor part, but we'll see. So um, in order to do these ones, and I'm going to start these, I have done the same thing where I glued together several pieces. Now for this particular one, I'm using a little thicker one. I'm using the round stock from Plastruct and I'm using the 0 0.040. So it's thicker than this one. I believe this is 0 0.030. And so this is a little bit thicker. And the same thing, I glued together several using some uh, of the Tamiya Extra Thin. And now what I'm going to do is start gluing a piece at a time, just like I'm doing here, and then I'll use an X-Acto to cut it flush. All right. All right, so I finished most of the ribbing on the cockpit area. So around that whole square right there. 
those two top sections and that's on the roof and I've started using a thin square stock to highlight these lines on this side panel because the inside of them is going to be flat black and the outside is going to be white still so I want that to stand out so what I'm using is um, 0 0.020 square rod from Plastract it's a very thin square rod and uh, and I'm building that up as well as you can see that right there all right and I think that's going to pretty much do it I'm not really going to build up the controls any other than painting them in the back to have some some colors coming through and putting something over these these rectangular square sections here to to let light come through as well don't know if I'm going to do anything on this bottom thing bottom uh, floor here I'll look at that a little bit more and see but uh, other than that this is just about wrapped up and I can start doing some painting on it okay All right, so I finished the raised detail on the cockpit. Uh, I did this other side with the ribbing right there. And in between that, there's going to be black, and then the, the ribs sticking out are going to be white. So um, the last thing I want to do is, is come up with a little bit of detail on this bottom floor because um, in front of the pilot chairs, there are some controls. And I'm kind of using as a guide... The stargazer kit as i said so here's what's in front of the um the pilot seats you got that little opening right there and it's dark i'm assuming that's some kind of a uh an opening that they can go down in or something i'm not sure uh, i'm not so much worried about this but i'll probably put these two little sections on either side of it and just give it the slightest amount of detail so what i've done because this would be going kind of this way is I started with a piece of styrene and I cut out that little opening there and so that's going to go like this then I'll put a couple of controls on the other side of it and, and it's going to go just sort of like this and I'll cut it down and probably angle it a bit all right so let me start working on that and once I get that done I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of flat white on this and then start doing some of the black detailing all right, here's a scratch built piece that I made. I think it turned out really well, and I'm trying to imitate this piece from the Stargazer kit. I know the angles aren't quite the same, but uh, you're not really gonna see it that much, but um, I wanna get this main big panel and these two smaller ones in the dark opening in the middle, so I just built up some styrene. You can see it's on kind of an angle and the back of it's open. I'm not going to, you're not really going to see that. But uh, I have the um, two control panels on the front and the big long one on the back. And the way this is going to work is it's going to go right on here like this. Let me turn that around a bit. It's going to go right about here. And once again, this is the floor, as it were. I know the angles are kind of weird inside there, but you're going to have the two seats sitting in front of this. And so you have the two little control panels and that little opening in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is, um, I was looking through some of my decals or detailed info, and I got some... Uh, some decals I got for the Jupiter 2 and these are for the polar lights version and it has uh, a lot of different um, see-through patterns for my purposes I don't really care if they're see-through but I, I got a couple that are dark you can see right there and so these two are going to go on these two panels right here I'm going to come up with another long one from the, the set, possibly from this piece here. If I cut off like half of it to go on the top. All right, so you have those darkened panels. Uh, and I might go ahead and get a little coating of white on there first because um, I want it to match the rest of the white inside of the cockpit. Okay.
All right, so that's coming along really nicely. Let me get that all together and then uh, we'll see how that fits on here. All right, here's my completed uh, scratch built control panel. And uh, like I said, you're not going to see a ton of it. You're going to probably see it like from that angle. I think that turned out really nicely. Uh, and pardon my, uh, I have kind of a cold going on, so my nose is all stuffed up. So uh, that's why I kind of talk kind of funny here. <laughs> but let me show you how that's going to look there. All right, so there it is. Straighten that out a bit. All right. And then I'm going to have the, um, the little pilot chairs that I created. And those are going to be sitting right there. Let me set that in there and I'll show you how it's going to look from the front. All right, there you go. So I'm just kind of holding that in place. So there's the pilot chair and there'll be a second one, of course. And then the controls. All right, so that gives it a little bit more detail. And of course that uh, brass floor will be painted. There'll be another chair in there, so. Okay, so that's looking really good. So I'm ready to go ahead and get some paint on this and, uh, and go from there. All right, so there were a few shots of the um, painted uh, cockpit sections, uh, the front area, and then the back hallway. Uh, so just about ready to start gluing these together. What I've done is I started gluing on some clear plastic, and it's just some real thin um, styrene plastic. It's really thin and flexible. But what I'm doing is I'm gluing it over top of any of the holes with the control lights to shine through and because um, I don't want to mess up the white paint on the other side it needs to look kind of pristine uh, but I want to put some color on it so I glued some pieces on top of the metal and then I just take some Tamiya clear paints as you can see there's some blue green and red and I have some other colors and I just paint them over top of the, the clear styrene on the back so it doesn't go through the hole so it doesn't mess up the white on the other side. And then the, the effect is light shines through. That looks pretty awesome actually. Now you're not going to see this one as much because it's going to be sideways but I went ahead and put some in there. Looks like the little blue TV screen there and some other lights. There's a little teeny mini how right there at the top of that one and some red lights on the back of that doorway there. Sorry. Okay, so once this is all together, it's gonna to be a little rectangle and then I'll just put some lights around the outside of it and lay through there. And what I've also done is I've used some uh, L-shaped styrene on this bottom section. So when I fold this together, I can glue the outsides of this metal onto the styrene and get a little better hold. So I'm not worried about getting glue in between those gaps again and messing up that white paint. All right. And I have a little bit of decals. Uh, there's a little, another little control panel that came from the Jupiter 2 set that I have. That red stripe, there's a decal. So is that yellow one with the detail on it. All right. And then for that top section that's going to light up, I have this little piece of styrene that I cut out and folded. I'm oh, sorry. One so many second. things almost lost at a carpet. <laughs> All right. A little piece of that thin styrene as well. And I just scuffed it up with some sandpaper. And I folded it. So it's going to go over top on the outside. Right like so. And it's also going to have... These little flaps are going to come down and go on the outside of these walls to hold that down. 
and they should be strong enough because this is a pretty thin flimsy piece right here so okay and I've also started to put some styrene clear styrene down on the cockpit as well the front part right there and let that glue so when that's done now you can just see like the clear plastic but I'll do the same thing that center little opening I'm just going to paint it black so it looks like it's a dark opening and then I'll just put different colors around the lights there that'll come through on the other side and I'll do the same thing with those ones there and these ones right here there's another section of that Jupiter 2 control panels on there and I have those sections painted in the middle so okay all right, so coming along really well. I should be just about ready to start gluing this part together now. Okay. And here's the completed interior to the cockpit. As you can see, I added some more black panels uh, in certain places. I tried to match it up as best I could. Um, I painted the bottom floor uh, neutral gray. You don't really see it very much, but I, I didn't want it to be black. I wanted some contrast between that and the, um, and the black and white chairs. And then on the back of it, I have some thin styrene glued into the places where there's going to be light showing through. I'm going to let that dry. And then what I'll do is I'll apply some more of the clear Tamiya paints. As you can see, there's a lot of panels that light up through there. And I'm just going to paint it right onto the styrene. And what I'm going to do for the actual lights of the cockpit is um, like that panel right there, those two right there in the white sections these two right here on both sides of the white sections they're gonna be the largest lights and I'm gonna put like a red on those uh, and um, so the front cockpit is gonna be more of a red light and then when you see the the back through there it's gonna be white so that'll be a nice contrast um, and it doesn't really have it in the movie I seem to have remembered it but I think I was thinking more of some of the other ships in 2001 like the moon bus the Ares 1B uh, possibly the Pan Am Space Clipper, I'm not sure, but but I know those two other ones, they had red light in the cockpits for the pilots, and then uh, lighter lights like white or blue in the, um, in the main passenger sections. So I'm going to do a similar idea, but you're going to see the red in the front, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to fade into the white, so it'll be pretty cool. All right, we'll let that dry and start putting some paints on that, and then we'll get ready to start putting some lights on this. All right, so I've uh, put together quite a bit of the cockpit front section. Um, I was having a bit of trouble with some of the styrene interfering with the folding. And so the top section that was originally attached had separated, but it's fine. It works out better this way. So I can go ahead and get these all glued together. So I have the bottom sections all glued together. The seats are glued in place. I don't have the controls in there yet because I want to position them, but I put them in so you can kind of see them. My, my little scratch build controls here. Um, but other than that, everything is all together in here. Let me show you. All right, and then to reinforce it, and I still have to do a little bit of light blocking, um, but I just put some of the angled styrene on the edges and glued it down with the, with the super glue. So it would make it stronger. And you can see the red there that I put on and some other colors on the controls in the front. So you can get that, um, see if I can get a bit of light shining through there. It's hard to get that angle, but come on. Okay, anyway, um, but I do have the um, pieces lighting up. There we go, okay. And there's the controls, you can see. Okay. So this section is just about done. And I have the, the roof 
and side walls glued together as well and also adhered those with some pieces of thin styrene that I cut and put into place as well and there's all the different Tamiya clears on there same thing there's a picture of that looks pretty cool and same thing a lot of this year you're not going to envision as much the back you'll probably see quite a bit but that top part will be angled the sides will be visible I believe once it's on and so this piece will go right on the top like this okay and then that'll connect to the front of the ship and it's molded just right to fit over top of that piece right there I have it temporarily tacked onto there it's not permanent I'm gonna take it back off but I started building up that area because I'm gonna start painting this flat black inside there and then I need to get the um, the window photo etch put onto there so that can be painted as well so okay all right so I'm gonna get this set up on here and uh, then we're going to take a look and see where I need to position this and get this all glued together. And we'll be ready to start attaching it inside. Uh, I may be able to just attach it all right onto this piece right here. I'm going to take this back off. Maybe it'll attach it right onto that piece so I can mask around it on the parts that connect before I glue it into the kit. Because I don't want anything coming through other than just the... The parts that I wanted to the controls and the, the lights that kind of thing okay and then I also have to get the uh, back hallway glued on to onto the back there as well and then block around the edges of that too so all right just about finishing up on this working out really really good Just uh, fitting of the bottom of the cockpit into this front window piece and you can see it just matches up flush with the sides of it and then you have those two little strips right there and right over here that that line up and we'll glue onto the <clears throat> to the plastic and that's generally what you're gonna see through it you can angle it around but you can see the seats you'll see some of the walls a little bit and you'll see back through that hallway so you're not going to see a tremendous amount, but you'll get the general idea from the that you had in the film um, on there. So like I said, this whole piece can be glued onto this section before I glue it onto the dome itself. And I do have that um, those window ridges glued in, and they're going to get painted here in a moment. So I had to trim down quite a bit of the um, my scratch built control panel because it just wasn't fitting. So I had to cut basically that whole back part off. And it looks kind of rough there, but it's tucked underneath. You're not really going to see it. Um, <clears throat> so you can barely see just those two little control panels if you look at the right angle. But uh, I think it's just better than seeing that, that bare floor underneath the chairs. At least it gives it the, you know, the idea that there are some controls. So Okay, so that's glued in place. This piece is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get some paint onto this some black paint put some flat black on it what I might do is just put white on the inside and I'm gonna put some clear styrene for the windows in there let me get that painted and then uh, then we'll work on getting the top on this and getting it together okay a flat black painting on the inside of that and it's a little rough on the edges but that's fine I have to still paint the, the dome itself and just trying to get an idea of it and it'll be masked off so it'll stay black inside of there and I have uh, that piece painted black as well and it's not fitted in permanently but let me go ahead and stick the cockpit piece in there and kind of see what that's going to look like all right so I don't have any lights in there but it is uh, getting some light through the top of this plastic dome as you can see you can kind of make out my fingers back there too but um, so that's gonna be pretty cool uh, the cockpit isn't the main 
focus of this kit that I'm looking at. You're going to see some light back there and you're going to see the hallway and that kind of thing. But other than that, it's not the main thing. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on the pod bay. Uh, so I'm not that worried about it not showing as much detail. I knew it wouldn't be because it's such a small window that's showing through it. So, But let me try to get that finished up and we'll take a look at it with some lights on it. All right, so I have the cockpit section, the front part of it, uh, all glued together and solid. Uh, not very pretty, <laughs> but that's okay because none of this part on the outside are you going to see, so I didn't have to worry too much about that. Um, and I had to fiddle with it a bit to get it to fit onto this section here. It's designed to do so, but it's a little tight, so I ended up having to uh, groove out just a little bit on the bottom so that the um, the bottom side pieces, this piece down here, on either side would fit into it so it fits on. But it fits on snugly and I'm getting ready to glue it in place. I masked around the edge of it so there's no light leaks. Um, I'm debating on whether I want to glue on the back hallway first before doing that so I may do that first. I may glue this onto the back first and make it solid, position it just right. Um, but then the whole thing's going to fit right onto here. Let me show you how that goes on here real quick and then give you an idea of that. All right, there you go. So it's a nice uh, snug fit. It's a really nice design. It's designed to go right over this part here that goes into the kit. So this whole thing can be attached and then I can glue this onto the back. And do my lighting so it's all one piece before I glue it into the into the dome here so it'll be all self-contained which is quite nice and um, see if I can get kind of a shot in there so that's kind of what you're gonna see like you do from the movie you see the top of the chairs see some of the background you can see a little bit of the controls on the side if you angle it just right uh, it's kind of hard to see anything on the top or the bottom a little bit right there, but um, you're going to see the hallway quite a bit. Let's see if I can get that on there and show you. Let me put that together and I'll show you here real quick. There you go. So depending on how I have that uh, glued into place, you're going to see the back hallway, that back door. And as I said, I'm going to have some red light in the front. You can even see some of that sticking through there, shining through there. And then it's going to be blended out with the white light from the back. So that's going to look pretty cool. All right. So let me figure out how I'm going to get this together, which how I'm going to put it together. And then we'll be able to get some lighting on this and then uh, get this all wrapped up. Okay, so I started working on some mini light boxes for the front of the cockpit. And I came up with these two side pieces. I have two lights glued into them. Uh, and so, let's see if I have the right one here. Okay, yeah, so this one goes on the side of this. And I have another one for the other side. And then I have this top piece for the top of it. Okay. And, um, and that'll, that'll cover all the lighting in the front of the cockpit. And then I, I need to fashion some lights to go over the top and the sides of the hallway. I need to get these lights on the side here and the top. And then I'll be ready to go ahead and put this together. All right. All right, so I have uh, the cockpit all wired up and ready to go. It, like I said, it's not very pretty, but it is practical, and you're not really going to see the parts in the back, so it doesn't matter. You're only going to see through the cockpit window, the lit-up cockpit, and the hallway. So what I ended up doing is I have these two plastic pieces on the front cockpit, and they're closed in the back and on the sides, and they have two LEDs on each one, and they're wired out, as you can see. 
I do have the one piece for the top. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that yet. I'm going to try it out, but um, you don't really see that. You're not going to see those lights at all from the angles that it is. But I want to see how light it, it looks and uh, decide if I want to put that on. I do have that piece that I can add if I need to. And that's this one over here. And it's just a single LED inside of a, a little box. And to make these boxes, I just use some um, UV resistant plastic, black plastic, as you can see. And it's already self light blocking. So I just glued it together. And I did kind of a rough job of it. It doesn't really much matter as long as it covers it up. And this one has one LED sticking through, as you can see. And I painted white inside of it to give it more of a light uh, uh, inside of it. And then wired it out. And then this one just goes right on top of this. So if I do decide to use it, it just goes right on the top. But we'll see. If I don't need it, I'm not going to waste the light, and I can take that back out of there. Then the um, the back hallway, I came up with a, a piece, and I just kept adapting it, but same thing. It has the black UV-resistant plastic, and it's glued on one side, and then I have light, two lights in the top for the top of it. And I have one light in the side that lights up the side panels in there, as you can see right there. They're like the main blue panel and there's some some green in there I think uh, and then I have this little light box on the back which lights up those two red lights at the top of the door in the back and that to the left the little green control panel all right so um, let me get these wired together and then I have all of them going into a single lead on each end so I can glue these together. I mean, attach them together, wire them together to one connection. And then the way I've set up the, um, the hallway, I have a piece of styrene glued on the bottom. And that just slides right underneath the back of the front cockpit. And then I have two of these um, angle styrene as well that glue onto it. So it's ready to go. I have that little tube in there just to kind of position force this piece into the position I want it to be so that those those two lights there are right over the top of the lighting in the back so okay all right so let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to connect this up and show you how that looks and then I'm going to put them together and then we'll look at the whole piece together okay all right so I have these uh, wired together for now and they're not together, not put together yet, but let me show you what we're looking at here. And I'll clean up this wiring and shorten it as I'm done, of course. Um, but here's the cockpit. And as you can see inside there, you can see some of those red panels and some other little controls that are lit up. And on the other side as well. So I don't want the, the cockpit lighting to be the, the brightest. I want it to be kind of under undertoned compared to the hallway, which is what you mainly see in the movie. And then uh, here's the hallway. And I know a lot of these lights are washed out in the, in the video, but it looks a lot better. But you want this to be a, a white, a bright white. You can also see that blue there on the side. And like I said, if it wasn't so washed out, you're going to see the red and the green in the back as well. Let's see if I can get that to adjust. Come on. There we go. Okay. So that's more of how it looks. You can see that green control panel there. You can see the red lights on the back are just very under understated. The little blue uh, control panel on the right side there. And then the... Um, the even lighting on the top panel coming down as well. So it looks pretty cool. Alright, so let me go ahead and get these two together and I'll show you how that's going to look. Alright. Alright, so here's the whole unit put together. And it's not permanently glued, but I'm just showing it inside there. So it's connected onto the front. Let me show you that without the 
the model, see if I can get it to adjust again. Come on. There we go. Okay. There you go. So that's kind of what you're going to see from the inside. All right, let me put that into the into the command module. And we'll see how that's going to look. All right, there we go. <clears throat> and there's the cockpit lighting inside of the kit. And of course the the front the top of the the outside of the kit is not painted yet. But you can see we can see in there we can see the pilot seats. We can see some red and some other control lights on the sides. On that side too. And you can see that hallway in the back. And let me see if I can get that to light focus again. And like I said, it looks a lot better without the camera. You can see some of the blue shining through on the control panel. You can see that back doorway, red lights in the green. All right. Wish I can get a better picture of that. Come on, focus. <laughs> Let's take that light down a bit. There we go. All right. So that's a little more realistic. You can see that. There's that blue panel you can see that's lighting up. You can see the green control panel in the back and the red. You can see the white panels on the top lighting up and they're evenly lit, which is kind of cool. All right. Kind of give you the idea of the whole effect. All right, the camera wants to focus on just one part at a time, but it looks quite cool. And it has that general image that you see from the movie where you see the white light coming through and you can make out some of the cockpit and the seats. So, all right, so that looks pretty awesome. And I'm going to continue working on the, the pod bay which will be uh, a whole lot more visible, as I said, but I'm really pleased with that. I know the camera doesn't do justice to it. I wish it, it would give a better shot. There we go, that's about right, right there. It keeps wanting to focus, there we go. So that's kind of what you're seeing. A lot of muted light in there, but you're seeing the back hallway and lighting up through there, so okay, great. All right, so this is all set up and finished. And uh, we'll put this aside and start working on the pod bay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video by showing you some aftermarket parts that I got to really uh, detail this kit. Uh, sorry for that it went over a little bit. Uh, I tried to trim it as much as I could, but uh, quite a lot of work on it this week. Um, but uh, what this is is a, a little mini space pod that I got from, uh, it's, it's from Red Planet, but I got it from Cult TV Man. I'm not sure if uh, anyone else sells it, but really nicely detailed resin uh, pod. It's in scale with the kit. It's pretty cool. It's a solid resin, so it's not really designed for lighting, uh, but it has some really nice detail. And it also has some photo etch from Paragraphics. For the little teeny arms that go onto it and you have several to choose from so they're very nice and they're very delicate uh, so once you get these on there it really adds to the realism of the kit so i got two of these they run for about uh, 15 dollars i believe on uh, call tv man um, they keep selling out of them but i managed to get two of them on the last time they got them in and uh, I also have one other pod coming in from Shapeways, a 3D printed one. And uh, it is hollow, so it allows to light. So the two that I got, I'm probably going to put on the inside in the pod bay. And then the one from uh, Shapeways, depending on how nice it is, I'm going to have it put on the outside doing kind of the face off with uh, Dave Bowman and how the computer was the end of it and I'm, I'm going to try to light it 
so it has the little headlights sticking out just for them. So uh, the two on the top there, and the two on the bottom, and then those little circles in the middle, you drill them out, and that's where the arms go. So, But these are really nice. I really like these. Really nice detail. And once they get painted with the white and the black, it's going to be pretty cool um, as far as that detail. So, okay. All right, I should be getting the shapeways here in a few days, so I'll feature those in my next video. We'll see how that looks. I also uh, bought some 144 scale astronauts for the 2001 Discovery. Uh, it comes with several of them, and they're in the right scale. Um, so we'll see how those look, but I want to put those in there as well, maybe like in the pod bay as the hanging, hanging astronaut spacesuits. Um, possibly have the one, it comes with one that's the uh, uh, dead uh, Frank, <laughs> sorry, figure hanging from the arms of the pod. So when he comes back and he wants to get back in, he has Frank on the arms of it. So I might do that. We'll see how those look. But we're going to wrap this up. So thank you for all my subscribers. Um, keep watching here and we'll be working on the uh, pod bay next. And I think that's going to be pretty amazing. All right. Thank you.